Hi everybody, Rin here. So I'm on Windows 11 and I've had a problem with Star Citizen and Intel cores. Um, and in particular, Intel has some efficiency cores, which have a little bit of a delay when they're engaged. Uh, they're designed for power efficiency, but this causes some negative performance issues on Star Citizen, like stuttering. And so I'm gonna show you how to use uh, process lasso by bitsum to fix this. Now, if you've been around for a while uh, with the old launcher, there was a way to edit the shortcut, set some affinity ratings, um, affinity uh, settings for it. It would fix it. Uh, it does not work for me, but Project Lasso does. So uh, I'm going to kind of demo this. Um, the website for this is bitsum, B-I-T-S-U-M dot com. And uh, you do need the professional version of this, but do not panic um, because they're having a sale with the discount co control. So a lifetime version is $29.96 and you get a, a license key for it. So we're going to be using that. So I will uh, tell you a little bit about what the, the challenge is. This is Project Lasso um, right here. Uh, you may have seen this sort of display on the right hand side. These are all your CPUs, including your Intel efficiency cores here. If you hover it over, it'll tell you what, the co uh, what they are. So for me, uh, on my Intel, uh, 16 through 23 are efficiency cores. And we do not want Star Citizen, or for that matter, any other game, to be using those. Uh, Windows 11 comes with the ability to turn that supposedly makes all this work when you launch a game. It does not work for me. Uh, I have to manually override the settings and then it dramatically speeds up my FPS uh, and gets rid of stuttering. I'll go from about 45 frames per second up to 80 frames per second. So it almost doubles it for me when I do this. Um, but there's a certain set of sequences that I want to show you about. So first off, if you don't have Project Lasso and you want to maybe just look at this for a moment, uh, this is a task manager here. Uh, and you can see Star Citizen is running. And if, I, if you right click on Star Citizen, uh, you can see, um, uh, go to the tails, and it'll take you to the Star Citizen item here, Star Citizen entry, the process entry. And here you can say set affinity. Um, and this will tell you without buying, without even doing proce uh, process lasso, if you're actually using these efficiency cores. Um, again, for me, you can see it was 16 through 23, and you can see that they're turned off. Um, you know, instead of manually trying to do this every single time and making sure it works, process lasso does it all uh, for you uh, automatically. Uh, so that's really a nice thing to do. So I discovered that was the reason that my game was going, was not having a very good day. Uh, so, um, when you go into Process Lasso, there is, you'll be able to find Star Citizen running here in the background. Here's Star Citizen EXE and, crucially, Star Citizen, so one's the launcher and one's the actual EXE file. Um, when you look at this, uh, if you have it running, have Star Citizen running, uh, you'll be able to see if there's uh, efficiency turned on or off. So there's two settings here. One is, does it use all the cores? And the second is, um, is process efficiency enabled? Uh, and for Star Citizen, you don't want either of those. And the way you can tell, uh, you know, you could right click on uh, the entry. I'll just use the launcher for the moment. And you can see affinity and you can see what it currently is set at. So here you can see this, this launcher is using uh, all of my efficiency cores, which are labeled with an E here. Process last time makes this so easy, so much easier. Um, and so, what I recommend that you do, or what I did to fix it, is I changed two things. One is the Star Citizen launcher itself, and then Star Citizen.exe. Um, and you can see the launcher really doesn't do anything. Uh, it's really the Star Citizen exe file. The nice thing about pro uh, Process Lasso is that you have this option, which is current. So you can change like priority, affinity, memory, etc. You can say current, which is for the current session, or always. And Process Lasso will remember this. And when you, when that uh, executable is launched, it will automatically implement your changes. And so what I did to fix my problems was, and this is why you need Pro, uh, was to say CPU priority as high, 
Uh, and when I when you do that for the star citizen exe, I did it for the launcher. You don't need to do it for the launcher. Just star citizen exe. When you do that, it will uh, it will ask you if you want to induce performance mode, and your answer is yes, because you, obviously you want to have the best performance of the game. So I did CPU priority, um, always at high, uh, CPU affinity, and then what I did is you can you can see there not checked here you go up to select cpu affinity and now just say p cores for performance cores as opposed to e cores and then save um, and, and you'll see if you're familiar with the old way of doing things you'll see that the bit mask is exactly the same it just didn't work for me so now i have now that you've set priority you've set the affinity the next thing is the memory priority mode uh, and for this you don't set anything there sorry not the memory um io priority uh, and so what I did is I set the I.O. priority up as high because I don't want to have I.O. bottlenecks. Now, the chances of that actually contributing to my problem uh, when I'm using an SSD is probably very close to zero. But if you're on a spinning disk, uh, it may actually um, help. Um, so that's it. So you want priority, you want affinity, uh, for your, and then you want um, I.O. priority. And then make sure that your induced performance mode is on. And that's what I did. Uh, and then you'll be able to see, you know, the efficiency thing will run, will go away. You'll be able to see here in the rule set that it's high, that the priority class is high. Here's your CPU affi affinity, zero to 15 in my case. Um, uh, and then over here, you'll see IO priority is high as well. So there you have it. That's what I did to fix my problems.